Hello people and welcome you and yourselves to this Tuesday vlog. I am the Beard Talks, OK John, and this is where I just talk about movies, gaming and some other stuff that I find interesting pass this in to you. Today we're talking about Robocop, uh, what else was it, Robocop Kick-Ass 2, Balls of Steel, new videos released, and moving on to gaming news. We're talking about Black Ops 2, the perk system, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, and lastly I'll be speaking about... Um, Gaming, like cloud gaming, like I just like I just want to talk about that for a little bit because a few things have come out. So let's begin. Uh, Robocop have released a few more photos from the set. Uh, one in particular is a picture of a restaurant, and uh, this picture of the restaurant is particularly a specific scene inside the uh, movie is where um, Murphy gets uh, shot in a shootout. The shootout is happening between people inside the restaurant, most likely Murphy and police, and people outside. Uh, most likely criminals, blah blah blah, and um, this has happened where Murphy gets shot, most likely, but uh, apparently it moves, goes out onto the street and down to an alley. This is most likely where Murphy gets shot. So that's quite a, a pretty good thing because they've taken it from them going to an abandoned thing, going after these pit criminals, to them probably being shot in a normal shot at, shootout. So um, they've released like this brief as well. So I'm just going to read it off the screen. In Robocop, the year is 2028, and a multinational conglomerate, Unicorp, Unicorp is at the centre of the robot technology. Their drones are winning American wars around the globe, and now they want to bring this technology to the home front. Alex Murphy, Joel Kinnaman, uh, is a loving husband, father, and a good cop, doing his best to stem the tide of crime and corruption in Detroit. So, straight there, already, you know that he hasn't transferred to he's already living in Detroit. After he's critically injured in the line of duty, Omnicorp utilizes the remarkable science of robotics to save Alex's life. He returns to the streets of his beloved city with amazing new abilities, but with issues a regular man has never had to face before, most likely being a robot, cyborg. So, that is the brief of release. Even that is it's quite good. It's simple, gets to the point. It's just uh, it's some interesting points around there. It's just like, for example, it's like, uh, Murphy's already on the streets of Detroit. He hasn't transferred there from Metro South or something like that. Even though Metro South was in Detroit, so I'm not entirely sure there. I know I've just contradicted myself there. Sorry, people. But it's just like, it's like, is this going to be Metro East, Metro South? I don't know. It's, they, there's not much else there. But it seems like um, it's going to follow the similar things as the before movie did. But who knows? Um, who? What do you think? Do you think you're still looking forward to this Robocop movie? I'm still a bit on the fence, not entirely sure. So tell me what you think, people, in the comments down below. Uh, Kick-Ass 2, Balls to the Walls. Uh, it's currently in production and is about mainly Kick-Ass. Um, so, Kick-Ass um, in inspiring citizens to take up costumes and fight crime. And this is where this movie gets off. He's inspired, and he inspired citizens to fight crime in costume. And that's where... Um, this movie comes in because Red Mist is still out there and it's plotting its revenge and it's apparently going to affect everyone Kick-Ass knows. So this is quite intriguing so it's just like where's this story going to go? So there's a video that's been released on YouTube, I'll put a link on the screen and a link down below. If I can't put a link on the screen but there'll be a link down below no matter what. And it shows um, Colonel Stars, Jim Carrey, um, Kick-Ass and a few other characters uh, other than Gigas himself as is Night Bitch, Inset Man as well in the picture. You can see the video thing, it's just like on the street they're trying to get people to calm down so they can just film the street where it's seen where they're walking down the street but it looks pretty good. I, I enjoyed the first Kick-Ass and uh, no, no, I couldn't see um, Hit Girl though so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there so it might be in a different scene. Uh, it's out June 28th 2013 next year, so look out for that. I know I'll be watching that. So, uh, right, gaming news: Black Ops 2. Uh, Treyarch have been going on about the perk system yet again, saying they've made it simpler and more balanced. Is that now the perk will just affect you and no one else in the game? So the perks are just for you, no one else. Um, it's kind of interesting to say because there's so many things like perk. Oh, I've got this perk to help you. I've got this perk to help. Blah blah blah. Not entirely sure. What's the going on about? Sorry, I keep going there. It's just me thinking. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm not so sure what they're going at. But apparently they're going to be um, still fine-tuning the perks even when the game's released. So apparently now instead of like getting rid of it completely or just having it, they're going to either nerf it or improve it by increments. Like, see if it's better or worse, etc. Going up and down just to try and get the right thing. And if they nerf it, they're going to get rid of it completely. If they completely nerf it, it's gone. 
So it just means character players are never going to have to switch up the tactics if they completely nerf a perk. That means, crap, I've lost that, and I'm going to find enough something else to try and fit my playstyle. So it, it's kind of interesting. Now, in my own opinion, I still think Black Ops 2 will be the best game and will come out of that cookie, like the cookie cutter strategy game. It will come out there and go, cookie, I don't like cookie, give me gingerbread man, etc. It's just, it's going to go a different way. And um, I really know it will be, and it will build the franchise back up again, because my Modern Warfare 3, I think, absolutely destroyed it. Just literally, oh, it just ruined it. Everyone just hated it. I know everyone still, there's a lot of people out there still hate Call of Duty, and there's a lot of Call of Duty fanboys. Modern Warfare 3 is the best one out there. No, no, no. You don't know what you're thinking about, mate. Just like shut up, go and sit in the corner and just shoot yourself. Sorry, that's rather rude, but that's how I feel. But yeah, that, I feel it will build up the, the reputation of Call of Duty again because uh, the black first Black Ops was brilliant. This one's gonna be even better, and just it's gonna show EA what a company can do if you give them time. I know EA and Infinity Wars. Oh, all right, here we go. Sorry, here we go again. EA and Infinity Wars still had a little bit of trouble with each other, but the most annoying thing is after a year and a half of all this blah, 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 they settled out of court. Now, why couldn't you just done it in the first place, EA? They would have paid, made you millions and billions of money. It just annoys me that a company as big as them go, we want as much money as we can. Pay Infinity War the, the money they deserve, or the money they don't deserve, pay them whatever they want, because my God, will they get it back for you tenfold. Oh, just sorry. I just yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, Black Ops Two, the perk system is going to be still going to be up in the air. Can they can either improve one or decrease one? So it's up to you. What do you think about that? Do you think that's good? That's bad? I, I kind of find it good because it kind of mixes it up, so you don't get dependent on your perk. Because as I said, a perk is a gift. You shouldn't depend your life on it. So um, what do you think? Good? Bad? No? Right, next game I want to talk about is Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now, I can't remember when this game's coming out. I think it's October 30th of this year. And um, so, I'm just, I've am just i written a big one down here because I just want to explain it all. So, um, this will be an open world driving game and your goal is to become the most wanted. And as I said here, the game just looks awesome. There's a, a single player review of the game and I'll put a link down below for you to all go and look at that. Right from the start, every car is available and the... <laughs> every car is available you can find so literally I think the line they say is uh, if you can find it you can drive it simply roll up to for example an Aston Martin and you can literally go and drive the Aston Martin away and that's just brilliant so as I, I'm driving this one oh, I don't like this one oh look an Aston Martin uh, Camaro uh, Ferrari um, catering car or something like that it's just like you just go and drive them what you want so I find that pretty good let me just continue um Sorry, wherever you wherever you race, chase or explore, you will gain gain and rewarded with speed points and once you earn enough you can challenge the top ten most wanted. Now this top ten is literally the top ten in the entire area of most wanted. So you gain enough uh, these uh, speed points most likely by doing winning races, evading police, taking out rivals, blah 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 blah. So by doing this you gain speed points, you get enough, you challenge the number ten. You beat number ten, and it's really, really like it's supposed to be. These battles are supposed to be more intense than anything you've ever raced before. So each one will probably get harder and harder and harder and harder. So you beat number ten, you get some more race points, speed points, and then you go and do some more races. So you're number ten, the top uh, most wanted. So then once you get enough more speed points, you race number nine. You win number nine, you become number nine, and so you literally make your way up the table until you become the most wanted. Uh, which I find is absolutely brilliant. So you've got a goal, you've got something to race towards, you've got something you want to beat that guy. And um, oh, I find that absolutely brilliant. What else we got? Oh, yeah, there's some. There's a great feature in the game called now called Auto Log 2. Yeah, Auto Log 2. Uh, it will seamlessly track your um, movements and everything you do in the game. For example, um, what they say is like if you roll up to the start of a race, you, a list will come up. And it shows you which one of your friends is the fastest in that one. Or if you race past a speed camera and you once you race past it, it show who's the fastest and how fast they were going, etc. And then I think this is the best one I find. Um, uh, billboards. There's probably billboards all the way around the uh, massive city which you can just drive up and speed through. If you get the longest jump through them, your face 
goes onto that um, billboard, and that billboard will then go through all onto your mates' games. So your face will be in your game. So that kind of gives you another challenge to put yourself to. It's just like, oh wow, I've got to go and go and do this. I've got to go and speed through that thing and become. So really, you can drive through your game and just see my face just on the side. It's like, hey, I win. Hopefully I'll do a nice cheese one. Mm -hmm. Like that, but yeah. So um, I kind of like that. What else we got here? Oh yeah, um, there's going to be upgrades to your car as well. I apologise I keep looking down here, but there's so much information on this. I've had to write in a massive paragraph, so I'm, I'm trying to speed, go through it as quickly as possible and by moving back and forth. But um, you can upgrade your, now, your car now for every situation. For example, you've got a reinforced frame. So you have a reinforced frame, frame? reinforced frame, you can hit other drivers and not take as much damage as you would. Um, Reinflatable tyres, that's brilliant. So, you, as a uh, police are in front of you, they put out the spike strip, you drive straight on the spike strip, your tyres reinflate. I find that absolutely brilliant. Kind of reminds me a bit of a. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems awesome. It just um, it reminds me of a. I don't know, I apologise about that, but not, it reminds me of saying. Uh, you, you could probably tell me what it reminds you of. If you know, comment down below and tell me. So, um, reinflatable tyres. Uh, also, uh, impact protection, so you can bash through um, roadblocks by the police, so you can just go bang, and your car will take less damage. And also, our favourite, nitrous. As always, nitrous, which means you can just go vroom. So, a nice flame at the back of the thing, it's all good. Um, so, I find that very, very good. So, what do you think, people? This game already is looking brilliant to me, it looks like it's going to be. It's got hours and hours and hours of gameplay. Probably some of the most frustrating races you'll probably ever think. Probably the most thing I'll probably do is if I'm bored, I'll just literally travel around the streets, get in trouble with the police, race away from the police, and get points that way. Because I find that most of us are just chasing away from police. So, what do you think, people? Check out the video. Sorry for about going backwards and forwards again, but check out the video. Links down below. And uh, tell me what you think, please. Uh, this has being the Tuesday vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'll have a great day wherever you are. And uh, I'll see you all for the shit Thursday vlog where I'll continue to grow my beard. Because always remember people, keep calm, grow a beard. Because who knows? It might be awesome. Catch you later people. Bye the way.